what's happening guys Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 ultimate team video and guys today what I have for you is something that's kind of different than uh, what we've done on the channel so far in Madden 16 but it goes back to something that I did in Madden 25 and in Madden 15 which I think a lot of you guys enjoyed I've had a lot of requests for it recently so I decided to go out here and actually put together my Madden 16 ultimate team budget squad and I'll be releasing these videos guys over the next couple of days and weeks so that you guys can go in take a look at the players that I think are pretty good and uh, are well priced as well now these guys aren't necessarily the best players in the game or anything like that but they're all guys who are relatively cheap that you can get and put into your lineup and that they're going to perform fairly well for you at least given the price they're going to be really good and we're going to compare them to guys that are a lot more expensive than the cards that are on uh, the budget side so let's get things started guys we're going to start off at the quarterback position and guys on the left side of your screen is our budget player right side of the screen is a comparison to a more expensive newer card now in this case we're talking about russell wilson bca 92 overall this is a card that came out recently it's going for somewhere between 325 to 375 thousand, depending on your console and the time that you're on so I decided to put it at 350000 Now this is going to drop in price over the next week or two. So you know when you watch this video, if you're watching it months after the fact, this is not going to be a 350000 coin card. But again, it's just at the time of this video, we're trying to put the price of the card that is you know most relevant at this time. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Uh, but again, what we have on the left side of the screen is a budget card, right side of the screen, more expensive card. And then we've got attributes listed here. These are the ones that I think are the most important for the quarterback position. We've got basically all of them listed that I think are important. There's 15 different attributes. Now, not all of them are the same in terms of you know how much we care about them, but they all matter to some people for different reasons. So I tried to include as many of them as I could. Now, when you see red, a red background behind the number, that means that it's lower than the other card when you see green that means it's higher and when you see yellow that means they're the same so hopefully that makes some sense guys and uh, you can see here we're starting off with some mobile passers we're talking about Marcus Mariota the gold card this is a base card 76 overall Tennessee Titans rookie he's going for about 2,000 coins right now which is very very cheap considering how good this card actually is I think a lot of people don't realize that this is a pretty damn solid quarterback card if you compare the attributes directly to the Russell Wilson obviously we'd rather have the Russell Wilson it's a better card but for the price difference I mean we're talking about 175 times the price you know so of course we'd rather have the Russell Wilson but if you're somebody that can't afford this Russell Wilson right now like a lot of us are you can go out here and you can get this Marcus Mariota and he's going to fill in and do a pretty darn good job for you he's very mobile he's got 88 speed with 90 acceleration he also has decent throw power at, at, at a 90 so his throw numbers are actually pretty damn good it's funny because his throw accuracy short and his throw accuracy medium are actually better than this BCA Russell Wilson despite the fact that the Russell Wilson is 16 overall higher pretty darn interesting now what I will say is that Mariota's throw accuracy deep isn't very good it's a 71 that is pretty darn poor and that's something that's going to keep him from being an elite level quarterback but if you're somebody that throws a lot of short passes a lot of medium range passes things like that you know you're you're five yards or under or maybe you're 15 yards or under passes 25 yards probably at the very highest I would say for Mariota this is a pretty darn good card I mean you can definitely do some damage with this if you're if you were to come across it in draft champions for example a lot of people I think would do pretty well with this Mariota card he's very mobile like I already mentioned uh, and then he also does have nice attributes as far as like throw on the run so if you are somebody that likes to scramble and make some throws on the run he can definitely do a good job for you a couple areas that he really kind of lags in and you need to be careful of his play action pass is not very good he's only a 63 for uh for actually drawing in the defense and confusing them that's as far as i understand it what that attribute means and then carrying his carrying is very very low 54 so if you are going to run with Mariota, make sure that you cover up the ball or run out of bounds you do not want to be fumbling with this card he does have solid elusiveness good ball carrier vision um the, the other attributes his spin move his juke move are all pretty darn good for a quarterback uh obviously not as high as uh russell wilson in most of those other areas but you know he's he's a good overall quarterback i think a lot of people don't realize how good this card is when it's just a base gold card but this is kind of directly the uh the thing that we're trying to find 
quality cards that are super cheap. In this case, 2,000 coins. You can do one solo challenge and afford this Mariota card. So if you're brand new to Mutt and you're looking for a mobile quarterback, this is the way that I would go. So with that being said, guys, let's move on now. And let's talk about guys who are a little bit more uh, players that you want to have stand in the pocket. So popping up on your screen here, you've got on the left-hand side of the screen, 81 overall base gold Matt Stafford. Again, going for about 2,000 coins. And then on the right side of your screen, you've got Ben Roethlisberger. This is the team of the week from a couple of weeks back. 90 overall, very, very nice card for Big Ben. Now, unfortunately, guys, I'm not going to come out here and tell you guys, again, that the budget card is going to be better than the uh, the more expensive card. In a lot of cases, that's not going to be the case. There are there might be situations where that does arise throughout this series, but at least at the quarterback position, that's probably not likely to happen because people pay a lot of attention to quarterbacks. But uh, anyway, let's talk about this Matt Stafford because I think this is a very nice card, and I think it's one that a lot of people would do pretty well with. So, uh, and actually, I want to mention too, Matt Stafford, just in general, typically has pretty good mutt cards. And the reason for it is because if you look at that throw power, 98 throw power, he is known for having a huge arm, a cannon. He always has been, and he always probably will be known as a player that can throw the ball down the field. And that's the thing that I think makes him a very valuable mutt card, really no matter what version of Matt Stafford that you get. So if he has a team of the week or something like that down the road, yeah, he might have a slightly higher throw power and his accuracy might be increased. But he's always going to have these nice base attributes with the acceleration, decent speed, and high throw power. So kind of keep keep Matt Stafford in mind if you're somebody that likes to sit in the pocket because I think uh, he's he's definitely a quarterback that can do a pretty darn good job chucking the ball down the field, which is something that you know of course a lot of people like to do in Madden. So with that being said, again, let's talk about these cards. Let's compare them. Matt Stafford, same speed as Big Ben, which is uh, you know I. I kind of think actually speed wise Matt Stafford should be faster but where he does make up for it is that he's 13 higher in acceleration so if you are going to move with these quarterbacks and again I don't necessarily recommend that so much with these guys because their actual running attributes aren't that great but um yeah I mean the Matt Stafford can get out of the pocket a little bit better than the Big Ben can and he does like I said have amazing throw power 98 throw power which is better than Big Ben who is also known for having a big arm and he's got a 96 96, obviously, known as, you know, that's going to be a pretty good throwing power, but it's not even as good as the Matt Stafford, which is 2,000 coins. So that's pretty interesting when you're comparing it to a 110,000 coin card. Um, again, let's talk about the throwing accuracy. This is kind of where Matt Stafford lags behind, of course, as you would probably imagine. He's not the world's most accurate thrower. He's got 83 for throw short, 87 throw mid. So those are solid attributes. They're okay. They're they're not spectacular. The throw accuracy mid 87 is actually pretty good, at, li- at least at this point in Mutt. But his throw accuracy deep is only an 80. Now, what I will say is that he does have the 98 throw power, so a lot of people are going to try to throw deep with him. And fortunately, throwing deep, that leaves you the opportunity to actually go up with your receiver and make a play on the ball even if it's not the world's most accurate throw so that is a little bit of an advantage that that makes it a little bit better for Matt Stafford now what I will say is that he does lag behind a lot in a couple of different areas his throw on the run 77 is not very good it's not anything like the Mariota that we saw in the previous slide and his play action is also pretty poor only a 70 so again These guys who are lower overall, they're typically going to have some attributes like this, like the play action. Uh, If you were to look at their awareness, that type of thing is typically going to be lower on these cards. But again, what we typically look for in in terms of quarterbacks, we want to look at obviously throw power, throw accuracy. Those are the main things for your pocket passers. And then obviously we, we mix in some other things for the other quarterbacks. And like I said, with Matt Stafford having good throw power and good throw accuracy short and throw accuracy mid or at least acceptable in those areas, he is typically going to be a pretty solid quarterback for you. So despite the fact that his trucking, his elusiveness, juke move, spin move, all these different types of things, stiff arm are kind of garbage and really his carrying isn't very good either. Um, you know, he is still going to be a solid quarterback, I think, for most people. You're not going to want to take off with him and run, but uh, if you sit in the pocket with Matt Stafford for 2,000 coins, it's hard to find a much better quarterback than Matt Stafford. Even when you compare him to the Big Ben, he actually holds up pretty darn well. 
well. So let's move on, guys, and let's talk about our last group of quarterbacks. And these are guys that I think uh, the way that I would define them is being a little bit more balanced. So uh, I call these my balanced passers. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're amazing at everything, but they're good in, in terms of pretty much everything. So if on the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to see Derek Carr. This is Team of the Week Derek Carr from a couple of weeks back, and we're comparing him to the base set Aaron Rodgers Elite. Now, Aaron Rodgers, one of the most popular players in the game, MVPs, multiple MVPs now, 180,000 coins. So you can see, obviously, that this is an expensive card. And uh, again, I I don't necessarily think that he's going to be worth that 180,000 coins. If you were somebody that didn't have 180,000 coins to burn and you were just looking for an acceptable quarterback, somebody that can go out there and do a decent job for you, I really think that you can find this Derek Carr and use him. And I think he's going to do a good job for most people. I really, really do. Let's take a look at these attributes, guys. 83 speed, 91 acceleration for Derek Carr. Better than the Aaron Rodgers, which has only 76 speed and 84 acceleration. He's seven higher in both of those attributes. The other thing, Derek Carr also, like Matt Stafford, known for having a huge arm. He has 97 throw power. That is huge. I think a lot of people don't really realize that Derek Carr has the big arm that he does, at least in Madden. So uh, he's definitely somebody like Matt Stafford that can chuck the ball down the field and do a great job in that area. Now, where he does lag behind, of course, accuracy attributes, just as you might imagine, Aaron Rodgers possibly the most accurate in terms of making decisions quarterback uh, and getting the ball in a tight window. Aaron Rodgers might be the most accurate quarterback in the history of the league. So it makes sense that even his base elites got great throw accuracy, 90 throw accuracy short, 90 throw, 91 throw accuracy mid, 89 throw accuracy deep. Again, a lot of these lower overall quarterbacks are not going to have great throw accuracy deep because if they did, they would just be ridiculously overpowered. So that's where Derek Carr is a little bit lower. He's only got 76 for a throw accuracy deep. That's not great. Now, if you combine that with the fact that he's got the 97 throw power, again, just like the Matt Stafford, you might see some errant throws down the field, but a lot of times he is still going to throw it fairly accurately. So again, I'm not that worried about the throw accuracy deep. As long as he gets it relatively close to my receivers, at least in Madden 16, it tends to be that you can go up and get the ball with the aggressive catch. That's just the way that it is. So I think Derek Carr is being a little bit undervalued right now. I think his price is way too low. Again, throw accuracy mid, throw accuracy short are very, very good for Derek Carr. They're not that far behind even Aaron Rodgers. They really aren't. So again, I, I really like this card. I think that he's got a great combination of speed with good throw, obviously amazing throw power, good throw accuracy. And he also has some great attributes here down the list as well. If you look at his throw on the run and his play action, those things are not nearly as low as most of the other quarterbacks that fit in around this range. And he also does have some decent attributes like his uh, his elusiveness, his juke, these different things that are actually even a little bit higher than Aaron Rodgers. Now, I wouldn't recommend going out there and trying to juke people out with Derek Carr. But again, if you are in the situation where you're in the open field or something and it's just one defender, you might be able to put a move on him with Derek Carr with his 83 speed, 91 acceleration and, uh, you know, hopefully you can cover up, get out of bounds, that kind of thing, so you don't fumble. But again, I really like this Derek Carr card. 5,000 coins right now on Ultimate Team, at least around the that price on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. So if you're looking for a budget card that can do a great job in just about every area, this is my favorite budget card currently in the game at the quarterback position. So with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up this first budget series episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you're new. And guys, I'm going to be doing more of these over the next couple of days and weeks, like I said. So if you're looking for a specific position, let me know in the comment section below, and I will do my best to try and get that out to you guys. If multiple people recommend it, we might switch on over to that. So again, guys, thank you so much for all the support. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.